back to Antique and Garden Showcase. Happy New Year, glad to have you back. Today's a little bit something different. I'm out on a road trip for myself. I actually bought some Anchor Hawking Forest Green and Ruby glass that I've been looking for for quite a while. I'm at Ford Brothers Auction in Somerset, Kentucky. So a little different, I'm gonna go see if I can get my stuff and I'll be back with you in a bit. So what I picked up today were two lots of Anchor Hawking glass. I got Ruby Red Charm, which there's a salad bowl that I've been wanting here. Also, I've got some green, which there's a very nice platter on top. There's also a salad bowl in there that I've been wanting for my collection. So I've got to wrap these and then I got to get back towards town, but I'm going to stop at an antique mall on the way. And I think we're going to enjoy this one. So I am outside the North 27 Antique Mall. You can probably see the sign back there in the background. And this is a mall I've not been to in probably six, seven, eight years. Can't really remember. The last time I was here, I was with my uncle who's since passed, but it was kind of a road trip thing for us. So I'm kind of reliving that. And they've got a lot of Fenton art glass and things. So I want to go in and see what they have today. So a lot of things as we pull up to the front here, a lot of outdoor things. Let's go in and check it out. Well, I've already seen a lot of Fenton, a lot of neat and pretty things in here. It's just a vast array of things. So I'll come back on if I see something that really catches my interest. Like this chocolate toothpick holder is really cool. One thing I remember about this place is it has this huge, almost warehouse of glass. You could just about match up any pattern, any shape, any size, pretty much what you're looking for. I mean, there's a world of things in here. And it's really interesting to look at all the different and pretty pieces, even that Burmese lamp, $525, but just stuff you don't see every day. We've even got some Bobby Pottery there, priced at pretty much going prices, looks like. Check out over here, I see some Fenton that's intriguing to me. We have this piece, 125 now. Well, and there's the piece I got for Christmas. Neat. So much to see in here. I'm going to keep looking around. So I've already found some of these really neat polka dot mid-century glasses and this iris that I'm going to get. They were 25% off of just $4. I've seen these $15, $20 a piece at other places. So something I want to pick up today. Well, here's some of the Fenton pieces. I'm just going to kind of walk through and let you look. So many pretty things in here, it's hard to decide on anything. I've got a couple of pieces more in mind. Well, that was a very nice stop. I enjoyed that a whole lot. Had so much Fenton art glass, uh, unusual things that you just don't see everywhere. Uh, lots of other antiques um, as well. I saw a few Nippon pieces. I only sprung for the uh, four glasses and I went back and got a yellow overlay picture, which I'll put a picture of that up that you can see that I got for my mom. It's a little uh, surprise present there. She likes overlay glass. And this was a neat little piece of older Fenton satin. So I'm gonna head back home and uh, may stop a couple places on the way, may not, just depends on what I feel like. So see you in a bit. So on the drive home today, let's have a little bit of discussion about retail and what's going on there. So when I opened my booth up the first six months, I did really super well. And January of last year, 
last year, I decided to double the size of the booth, which meant double the rent, and that's fine. I have made booth rent every single month. I mean, granted, it's not going to get me to retirement anytime soon, but, you know, it is kind of a hobby. On the flip side of that, though, is that this year, even though it was on the plus side with the booth itself, the sales for 12 months were less than 50% of the six months prior. Not good. So I'm right now liquidating a lot of older merchandise in the booth. And that's the only decision I've made. A lot of people are like, oh, what are you doing? What's going on? It's the only decision I've made at this time. I am looking to maybe simplify my life a little bit more, and I don't know what that means for retail. There, there's got to be some sort of change. Um, I don't need the stress of worrying about, oh my gosh, is it going to make it? Oh my gosh, am I going to get advertising? Oh my goodness, is the rent going up? You know, just one thing right after another. So, I'm weighing decisions right now, and that's what this little snippet is on the drive home. You know, we're talking about this. Is I love to have an outlet, and you know, I look at where I'm at and what I'm doing right now. I do have an outlet, you know, through the auction company, and you know, I'm, that might be the way I go. I, I don't know. I don't know. Chime in your thoughts if you've got some good thoughts about what retail should be looking like for Antique and Garden Showcase. Put it in the comments. I'm all ears. I would love to hear your thoughts. I actually thought about going um, strictly online, but uh, looking at online sales, the shipping is killing people right now. I mean, I can look at one item and the shipping is more than the item that I'm buying. So, I'm not sure if that's even the right thing to do. So anyway, I look forward to hearing your comments. And that, folks, is going to wrap it up for Antique and Garden Showcase this weekend. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more content for you coming soon. We are putting out a really nice auction and some really neat things. So I'm going to start working on the video for that um, probably before you see this. So anyway, have a good week. I'll see you next weekend. Bye.